Hello and welcome to SDN Tech Forum. In our last video, we performed LAN automation without image upgrade. And now two of our edge devices, they we do have underlay configured to them. That means DNAC has access to edge devices. Now we will go ahead and do some housekeeping tasks like applying device credentials, applying SNMP, and then we will end up uh, provisioning the device, edge device, and also enable telemetry. So that is the goal for this video. This is a little bit about uh, how to edit global device credentials, uh, what happened when you edit your global device credentials. And um, uh, global, uh, DNAC uses this device credentials to log in to network element or network devices. Let's go to edge switches. Show run AAA, uh, section AAA. Here you can see I do have authentication and authorization configured. That means I have already applied or provisioned this edge device. So my apologies about that. We will work on another edge device. So edge 4 is already um, configured. Let's go to H3. As you can see, this is the version uh, which came, came up as a part of LAN automation. We didn't do any image upgrade. We are going to perform an image upgrade in next video, 1612. And as you can see, section AAA, there is no authentication and authorization, external authentication and authorization. It's just the default one. That means if it has default, you need to have a local username and password configured so that DNAC can log into the devices. So if we go to device and inventory, you can see credential status for newly uh, onboarded devices. We do not, uh, we do, it says not applied. That means credentials are not applied and manageability. Manageability is based on SNMP. So uh, it's in magic manage uh, mode, but credentials are not applied. So let's go ahead and apply credentials. You can see device credentials. If you click on CLI, you can see there are two devices which need credential update. Update, we are going to say update credentials from DNAC and we will validate that on device itself. And uh, you will see me uh, going a little bit impatient uh, and checking things back and forth on DNA Center and uh, devices console. Uh, you can avoid that uh, with, when you're working with DNAC, just be patient and things will show up eventually. So you can see the workflow is complete. The device credential applied workflow is success. The task is successful. Now, if we go back to uh, device credentials, it says that it's, it's marked as green. That means all devices have required credentials. However, if I go to inventory, I'll see H3 and H4 still says in progress. So be patient here. Uh, you'll get it eventually. And now you can see me going to device console, try to figure if DNAC has already pushed that command or what's going on. It's hard to uh, capture any configuration uh, point in time because DNAC, uh, every time it logs into a network element, it runs a bunch of show command, which are used for assurance purposes, which make your, uh, uh, CLI, CLI output pretty dense. So it's a, it make it difficult to capture the command you are interested in. But it's a good way to troubleshoot and know uh, what is going under the hood. But sometimes it can be overwhelming as well.
All right, still says in progress. You can click on see details. And as you can see, CLI application credential push is in progress. This will take some time. So you can go and grab a cup of coffee or water, whatever you want and come back. This should be done by then. Once CLI uh, is applied, we will do the same thing with SNMP, read and write. clear a screen so that we can follow what's going on. It already has a username. So on CLI, things are looking good. However, on DNAC UI, it is just taking some time and saying it's in progress. Let's go ahead and refresh. Still in progress. You can see that. So once we uh, configure uh, our edge switches, now you can see CLI fabric push is success successfully applied credentials on device. That's great. That's what, that is our first step. Now let's go and repeat for SNMP, going to design network settings, device credentials, and SNMP v2, read and write. Let's apply. You can again go back and look into schedule task to check the progress. If we go to inventory, or you can look at inventory, it says success. As I mentioned, it is difficult to capture point in time commands, we can always do a show run and include to check the required output. And you can see there are two types of DNAC login. One is on port 22, another is on netconf over SSH. And we will talk about netconf over SSH in a dedicated video. Here you can see we have required SNMP communities, read only and read, read write. Both the communities are available on our edge switches. So we have done the basic uh, provisioning so that the DNAC can talk to uh, our edge devices seamlessly. We'll make the same ch uh, checks on other edge switch. As you can see. We can go back to device credentials and with SNMP v2 and we uh, read and write, you see those are, you got the check marks. That means all devices have required SNMP credentials. Now, provision edge device. So the after LAN automation, we did uh, uh, apply credentials 
and now we are moving to provisioning you can go to inventory selective device action provision provision device so this is my device and i know what site i want to assign it to and for that side we have a template available so we are assigning the template and these are the settings that will be pushed uh, when you provision the device so let's first generate the configuration preview and look at it so that we understand wh what commands will be pushed as a part of this workflow and once we understand um, everything we are going to deploy this configuration on device so this is a nice feature uh, you can see uh, what will be the potential configuration before applying it in actual all right success click on it and it will be expanded here you can see we have AAA config we have bunch of uh, radius attribute some acls uh, pre uh, pre web auth acls where you only apply certain domains and dscp etc but block other traffic so this is our um, AAA configuration and all this information comes from the planning part what we did in initial videos now i'm going to say de apply deploy and apply now dnac is going to log into my device and actually pushes those lines of configuration as you can see provision devices is in progress can refresh however i would advise you to uh, every time you provision device please always go and look at the task in detail uh, from ui so you will understand uh, the sequence and what it is doing and here also on edge device uh, as console you can see all the commands like banner is pushed uh, as a part of provisioning welcome to sdn tech forum sdl lab because this is the banner we associated particular to this site. Now you can see, uh, expand this and see detail. So initialize business intent processing, then you deploy and as a part of deployment, you can see that deployment is happening via netconf. That's why it acquire a device uh, lock and then it will add these pieces of configuration. Every, pro, every time you provision, device controllability factors uh, or configurations are also uh, get pushed in. Looking at the task breakdown, give you a fair idea how, uh, how DNA Center break down our intent to actual configurations now what we are going to do we are going to apply telemetry so as you can see i have uh, show run include telemetry few telemetry uh, uh, subscription available and telemetry is also aware depend on licensing i have two licenses they are in eval mode but still uh, in use so i have the requisite license now try to apply or enable telemetry so we have provisioned the device now we are going to go ahead and enable telemetry for that you have to go to inventory select your device action telemetry update telemetry force telemetry configuration we are going to do it one more time so that we can look at what configuration goes you know, inside as a part of telemetry and this telemetry subscriptions uh, they are evolving uh, that mean with every new software release you can get more uh, subscriptions the streaming telemetry subscriptions 
as you can see all this like dnac is pushing the certificate uh, dtls cipher and all those things uh, trust point dna cca created successfully that uh, that is part of telemetry if you are using if it is a wlc then sdn infra certificate that will be pushed um, so all those things uh, which dnac uses to securely communicate with uh, network devices they are being pushed as part of telemetry alongside with that we push some streaming telemetry subscriptions And telemetry comes very handy uh, uh, for assurance purposes. So all the events, issues, they are being reported as part of telemetry. Now telemetry update is successful. You can see every time you enable or update, it remove DNAC subscription and then reapply it. So make sure you have telemetry enabled on all your uh, network devices. Now, as you can see, when we updated uh, our telemetry, now we have many more uh, telemetry IETF subscriptions available and all these subscriptions, they are tied up to certain event. Every time that event happens, it triggers uh, uh, this sub telemetry event and it send that uh, trigger or even detail back to DNS Center. So let's look at the telemetry IETF subscription. As you can see, filter it's a TDL uh, URL service POE port detail. So every time a POE port detail uh, receiver source address is switch itself and receiver name is DNAC assurance receiver, which is our DNAC uh, DNA center. Excuse me about that. So you can see these are all streaming telemetry. Update policies are periodic, or update policy can be on demand as well. So I have done a dedicated video on streaming telemetry. I'm going to put that link in description. If you are interested in, uh, to learn more about streaming telemetry and GPRC, etc., please go ahead and watch that video. That will be really helpful. As you can see, telemetry receiver, receiver name, and it is sending to my DNA center IP address on a port 25103. So DNA Center is listening for the streaming telemetries on port 25103. And that's why, that's how the streaming telemetry is getting exchanged. And you see all those information on DNAC assurance page. All telemetry in place. So we are good. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video where we will go ahead and um, start working with fabric. Thank you.